Porch, I'm Aaron Robert, NASCAR Cup Series, Bushy McBushy McBush Race 400 from Kings International Speedway. We got four miles on that mile and a half track, 267 laps, three stages, 80, 80, and 107. Um, so far in 2020, or 2021, excuse me, I am two and four in the Truck Series, one and seven in the Xfinity Series, one and nine in the Cup Series. Check it out, Rubber Sports Show, last week, the Gecko 500 picked Brad Galzowski. I'm pretty proud of that. In a crazy environment like a Talladega Daytona, to be able to pick the winner, hey, that's good. All right, now we have the bread and butter here, the mile and a half. This is the 10th spring race, the 20th, 33th overall. At Kansas. Um, last year in the spring, Kyle Busch won stage one, Brad Kazowski stage two, Denny Hamlin got the victory. In the playoff race, Chase Elliott won stage one, Denny Hamlin stage two, Joey Logano won the race. The top four average finishers at Kansas last year, Brad Kazowski 3.0, Kevin Harvick 3.0, Alex Bowman 5.5, Martin Truex Jr. 6.0. Now, if you look at the 14 mile and a half in 2020, Kevin Harvick averaged 6.85 for three wins. Brad Kozlowski, 7.5 for one win. Kyle Larson only had one race, but finished ninth. Denny Hamlin, 9.5 for three wins. Ryan Blaney, 9.7 with no wins. Now, in 2020, 2021, excuse me, two races. Atlanta and Vegas. Kyle Larson averaged 2.5 for one win. Mark Jerks Jr., 4.5. William Byron, 4.5. One win. Kyle Bush, 6.5. Denny Hamlin, 7.5. Now, if we take a look at the playoffs, through 10 races, we have nine different winners, which is amazing. Mark Jerks has two wins, so he's guaranteed in the playoffs. Joey Logano, William Byron, Ryan Blaney, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Michael McDowell, and Alex Bowman all each have one win. Unless we have 17 different winners, they're in the playoffs. Now, with nine different winner winners through 10 races, and the drivers who have not won, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon, Kurt Busch, and Cole Custer are drivers who, did, who won in 2020 who have not won in 2021. That is 16 drivers. If each of those drivers pick up a win in the regular season. So yeah, the playoffs could be down to you have to win to be in. Pointing your way in may not be an option. So right now, if there's 17 different winners, Alex Bowman is on the outside looking in. Right now, though, number 16 in points is Chris Buescher, plus 12. Matt DiBenedetto is sitting in 17th, minus 12. Kurt Busch is 18th, minus 13. Ryan Newman is 19th, minus 31. Bob Wallace is in 20th, minus 33. If one of those drivers would pick up a win, Cole Custer, he's like 24th in points right now, 23rd. He won at Kentucky last year a mile and a half, a lot like Kansas. Now, the one significant thing about Kansas, unlike other mile and a half, there's never been a first time winner at Kansas. So that means whoever wins Kansas is going to have won in the Cup Series before. Now, I want to, we got 9 out of 10, I'm going to see a 10 out of 11, first time winner for 2021. I want to see a driver like a Denny Hamlin, a Kevin Harvick, go into Kansas, get their first win in 2021. So my three picks to win, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, not really a fan of his, but I'm a fan of the team, Kyle Larson, based on what he's done so far in 2021 on the mile and a half. So that's going to wrap up Bushy my Bush Race 400. Such a dumb name. Um, NASCAR Cup Series, sponsored by Bush Beer, Geico Insurance, Coca-Cola, and Xfinity here in 2021. This race is sponsored by Bush. They had the fan vote on the name of it. Yeah, so. All right. So on Sunday, Kenny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, 
Kyle Larson, one of those three, my picks to win. As always, thanks for watching the Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports show content.